Hello, I'm Darcy, and welcome to Screencasts Online. Today, we have a simplified calendar app called TimePage by Moleskin. Where other calendar apps like Apple's work on basic data input to create events, TimePage offers a clear UI with a more natural feeling data entry process. The app also integrates with another Moleskin app called Actions, which we'll be covering in a show next week. TimePage can be downloaded from the App Store and offers a 7-day free trial for a bundle of Moleskin apps, including TimePage, Actions, and Flow. That is to note, once the free trial starts for one app, it starts for all. So download TimePage from the App Store and let's get started. TimePage will always open to a vertical view of your calendar. We can see the dates and the month on the left-hand side and our events from all calendars in the center. We can tell the calendars apart by their different colors, so birthdays in light gray, public holidays in orange, and personal calendar in purple. And you can see on days like Tuesday the 7th where there are multiple events that they scroll through one after the other. Tap the plus in the bottom right corner and we're given two options. Actions we're going to explore in a later video because this takes us into another app by Moleskin. Instead, tap on events and we'll add to the calendar. Firstly, before we do anything, we want to make sure that we're adding to the right calendar. Tap on personal, which is the name of one of my calendars, and all the others are presented. To change to another calendar, just tap on another one. Now, type what it is that you want to do. As I type, different locations appear until finally it lands on a restaurant, before I've even finished typing the word. This is in fact the local restaurant I plan to have dinner at, so if I tap it, it will add that location to the calendar event. Set the date by tapping where it says today and choosing a new date from the calendar. And set the time by scrolling this wheel with your finger. It's scrolling in 15 minute intervals, but if you want to get more specific, hold your finger and you'll notice that the bars get thicker. Now, when you move your finger, it's moving in one minute increments. If you want to make it an all day event, tap the calendar icon next to the clock icon. And for an event that lasts longer than a full day, tap on the next icon and select the day that it will end. I'll change it back to an event with a duration. Let's focus on the icons just above the predictive text. The first is an arrow pointing backwards. Tapping this icon gives you a list of recent events. Selecting any of those recreates that event in this event, but you can update the date and time and so on. Next is the location pin, which shows recent locations. Tap on any of them to add it to the event. Then we can add a person to the event. In this case, I have no recent people, but I can add one by typing their name into the title. As I type, TimePage is accessing my contacts to find a matching person. Tap on them and select an email to send them an invitation to this event. You can also set the time zone for this event by selecting the globe icon at the end and searching for the time zone. Click reset at the bottom to set it to your current location. Tap on done above the keyboard to save the event. This is what an event looks like. We have the basic information at the top. Then it's saying I'm free for the rest of that day, no other events. Below that, we have modes of transport and how long it will take to get from where I am to that location. There's information on the expected weather for that day. And beneath that, we have the invited people. If I tap on Don, it will show me the emails in his contact. And if needed, I can remove them at the bottom. And tap plus to add another person. Scroll down a bit more and I can tap where it says personal to change to another calendar. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. 
all of our members get access to brand new up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.